Hello and welcome back. This is UIX Kinglin, and today I'm going to be covering a kind of basic overview on how to add fields to views that you created in Drupal. Um, to start with, let's kind of go ahead and break down what all of those terms mean. The first one being views. So views, uh, by definition, says manage customized lists of content. So to break that down even further and simplify, it's kind of like a big grouping of content that you've created and allows you to put this content out there in a visual format. So you take that raw data, stuff it into a visual format, group those visual formats together and create a view or that you can kind of put in multiple different formats, such as a page, or you could do it as a block or you could put it on a feed. Um, there are multiple different types, but today uh, I also want to go ahead and show you how to add fields to those views. Now, the one I'm going to be using today is, the view, is a view that I've already set up previously called faculty. So let's go ahead and edit that. As you can see here in your UI, you have your display settings here and a preview that's already been uh, so we can use our auto preview to see uh, any changes that we put in to our display settings here. And as you can see, fields, we're going to go ahead and add a few that I think will be useful in displaying the, the, uh, the data that I want to show. The first one being the courses that are taught by the faculty members, and the second one being the ID number of the faculty. So let's add those and configure them. Um, these are just the basic settings. I'm not going to go ahead and go through and explain the advanced settings here. Uh, that's something that you can do on your own time and research. And here is a quick side note that I want to mention is how smart Petrupal is with um, the fields that you're putting through. See how it has already detected that the ID is a number format or an integer format. So it has given me this option to put in a thousand marker. You can use a decimal point, comma, or whatever that's uh, fitting for your specific use case. I'm going to use a thin space. Hit apply. As you can see in our auto preview, we have our two columns that have been added to the page that we have set up. So we have, in total, we have the faculty, the corresponding courses, uh, and PSU ID. So let's push through changes through and see them on our website. So on our faculty page, you can see here that we can now see the faculty member, David Stewart, courses, eating 201, PSU ID, set up right here. It's relatively straightforward and easy to understand as long as you don't go too far off the deep end. Um, don't get too caught up in the semantics of the definitions of what things are, but rather what you can do with them. Um, the best way to explain views, in my opinion, is kind of just to remember that it's a tool that will, <coughs> that will allow you to group together the data that you want in a visual format and display it on a formatted display simply put. <laughs> uh, I know that probably doesn't do it, do it justice, but for all intents and purposes, um, that's what we need to know in order to add those fields into those views and kind of go about and formatting our data. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. And this has been UIX Kinglin, and I'm out.